Okay, welcome back to DanbarPens.com. Thanks for following along. We poured our uh, clear acrylic around our custom labeled blank for the semi-auto handgun pen kit. So now that we're all cured and set up, ready to go, we're going to square the edges up. I'm going to do that on a disc sander. Round the corners real quick. Makes it faster to turn on the lathe. Then we're going to turn it, polish it, buff it, and assemble it. So here we go. Alrighty, welcome back to the last part of our putting together this custom pen. We just, I just got the um, semi-auto handgun pen kit and a gun model finish from PSI, Penn State Industries. So we'll go through our parts here. There's the instructions. Mandrel setup, size of your bushings. We've already gone through all this, so this is kind of moot. Uh, 
Well, that's usually not such a challenge. So. Okay, there's the top. It's our ink cartridge. Now, here's the tube that comes with the kit, but we already made a tube. Here's our Dallas tube. So we've got the top, we've got the tube. Here's your little collars. And those actually go into the tube when you press it together and that's what the top screws to one collar. And our little tip, the end nib, bullet mock-up, screws onto the other collar. And those are what pop into the tube spring for your ink. So these are actually going to go on to this tube and this tube. So let's whip out the press and get going. Alrighty, so we've got our pieces parts out here. There's the top and then the two collars that go into your tube and then the bottom. So these just simple press in Put it in the press. And it's in. And then the bottom nib, which doesn't really have a front or a back or a top or bottom, this just screws into the to that collar that we just put in. Now the top is just a smidge trickier. So if you have a front, I consider this the front, okay? Or if you have an obvious back, I usually put the seam to the back or if it's a pen with a clip, I might lay the clip down over the seam. Well this one doesn't, it does have a clip but it doesn't go all the way in, it only goes this far in. So I'm going to put that seam in the back. So here's the front. Well, that being said, then you have to put your collar on first and make sure it's all screwed on, you know, snug as far as it's going to go. And then you kind of size it up to where's your front and where's your back. That's about right. Because if you were to just put the collar in any which way, then when you screw your top onto it, <clears throat> excuse me, when the top finally bottoms out and it won't turn any farther, you want it to be lined up with the front of your pen. So anyway, we'll put the top collar in now. Press nice and gentle. And it's done. Then we screw our top on. And there's our front. And then put your ink in. <clears throat> and it's just a regular Parker style ink cartridge. Uh, comes with a generic one and no brand, uh, unbranded. I pop those those out and then I put in the Schmidt Megaline P950, the air pressure technology, and these are pressurized cartridges, so they um, they write upside down because it's under pressure. And you just screw your nib on. Make 
make sure everything's all snug. And then there's your semi-automatic handgun mock-up pen kit. Medium ballpoint, click action, custom label. Thanks for watching. Come and see us at danbarpens.com. And we'll talk to you all soon. See ya.